What is up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 52 of the Sasha T Show. I'm super excited for the show today because we're going to be going over how you can avoid eBay sales tax. Yes, the killer eBay sales tax, it can be avoided. Um, as many of you guys know, especially when you're making big purchases, a $1,000 card, $2,000 card, $3,000 card, etc. Sales tax adds up. I mean, just here in California, uh, I think it's 8.75%, um, which is a lot of money, um, especially again with those big purchases. So this video is going to help you and this podcast will help you um, if you're making big purchases, if you do not live in the U.S., if you're overseas, as well as if you're if you're buying a lot of cards, man, they might not be you know, big purchases, but um, you don't need the product right away um, and, and you're buying frequently. Um, so it's going to help. This video is going to help you guys for all three of those uh, things. So first thing, we're going to be using PWCC. Now, what is PWCC? Basically, it's a marketplace. You've probably seen it on eBay a bunch, um, PWCC listings. Um, so it, first off, it is a marketplace. Second, and, and the reason why uh, I'm talking about it right now, um, PWCC has vaults. Um, they reside in Oregon. They have these big vaults. If we go down on the screen here, I believe it will show you um, their headquarters. Um, so they have, you know, they have a big basically storage center um, of, in a high quality vault. Um, so what you're able to do with PWCC is you're able to make an account. It's absolutely free. And with the account, you, you essentially get your own mini vault. Um, you know, they store your cards for you in, in, their, in their vault. Um, and, and just making the account is absolutely free. So how's this gonna help you avoid taxes, right? When making the account, they give you your own shipping address. Um, so it, it, it's all gonna be shipped essentially to the same place, but they're gonna give you a specific number with your name. Um, so that's where your cards are gonna reside. Um, so all you have to do is go to your eBay account and change your shipping address to your PWCC vault address, right? And then you're gonna have to uh, change your PayPal account's address as well. Um, by doing these two things, now you're able to ship all the cards that you want to ship to PWCC. Again, you know, a thousand dollar card, two thousand dollar card, three thousand dollar card. This is going to help a ton. Now, what do they charge? Basically, what do they get out of it? Um, we're going to come right down here when it sh shows the fees. Basically, guys, um, graded cards, which most of us are buying already, they charge a one percent insurance fee. Um, so basically, they charge you your one percent. Um, you can basically say, okay, 8.75% 8, if I got it shipped to me or 1% and I ship it to uh, PWCC, right? Um, essentially then, if you keep it for a longer period of time, um, they, 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 will, they will charge you a little bit more. I believe um, it will be 0.5%, right? Insurance value will be charged for the first full year. Um, now, what I recommend doing guys, especially if you're making big purchases, ship it to them, they charge you the 1%. And then right when it gets there, um, I believe it's $30 um, for you to get it, for, for them to ship it to your home address. Um, so basically you have the 1% plus 30 bucks. Um, again, if you're buying a $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 item, this is gonna save you a ton of money. This is, you know, I've heard about PWCC and kind of their vaults for a while now. Um, and, I, and, I, and from just my personal um, my personal card, you know, investment um, venture, basically. I try to avoid it as much as possible um, just because I like kind of getting my cards in hand um, and, and fast and quick. Um, but, you know, with the whole coronavirus situation going on, um, sometimes it's a little bit tougher. Um, so that's why I, I basically made the account and I, and I made a big purchase on eBay, a card that I really wanted. Um, you know, it was a couple grand. It, it was a couple Gs, right? Uh, but I, I just didn't want to pay that sales tax. 8.75 is killer. And that's what got me to making the account um, and, and, and basically making this video because um, this saved me a ton of money and I want to be able to share it with you guys as well. Now, if you don't live in the U.S., guys, this is also another huge tool because um, shipping also gets expensive when, when, um, when doing this or when buying off eBay. Um, so a great way to do this is just send all your money or send all your cards um, to this vault and, and, you know, get it sent back to you maybe one or two times per year. It's another opportunity where you can save money. Um, yes, you're not going to get the cards right away, but at the end of the day, you're going to be saving a ton of money on shipping um, by just having everything sent to one place. And then just, you know, let's say you have 20 items that you bought, right? Um, instead of getting charged X amount per time shipping it to wherever you are, Germany, UK, whatever, 
um, you can just get that charge one or two times instead of 20. Um, so that is another opportunity for you guys to use PWCC. Um, and again, if you're just buying a lot of stuff, right? If you're buying a lot of stuff, maybe you're here in the US, you're buying a lot of stuff, you know, you, you're purchasing a lot of cards. Um, this is another way where it can help you in the macro um, save money on sales tax instead of paying, you know, that 875, which it is here in California. You know, you just pay your 1%. And then again, maybe a couple times a year, you get it shipped to your home address. Um, so again, I've used it. This, it was my first time using it. Everything worked out great. Um, and I wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's going to save you guys as well a ton of value. Again, the longer you keep it, um, they are going to charge you a little bit more. Um, it looks like ungraded cards. It's 1% of the insurance value um, is charged. And then first year storage, like I mentioned, it's 0.5% of the insurance value. Uh, and then long-term storage is 0.25% of the insurance value will be charged um, for the second and the, sub the subsequent years um, of storage. So again, it, overall, even if you kept it for multiple years, you're still going to be paying a lot, way below um, sales tax value. Um, and what I recommend is just, you know, if you're making that big purchase, just send it to them, you know, pay the 1% and then just pay the fee to get it shipped to you. And you're going to be saving a ton of money on sales tax. Another um, place I wanted to shout out to end this video is ship my cards. That's an, another opportunity um, where you guys can save money on shipping. Um, they, I believe they reside in Florida. I don't know too much about them, but I've heard great things. So check out ship my cards on Instagram and they have their link to the website. Um, where you can also save money. I believe this is, I believe this is for sales tax and shipping. Uh, I think they promote it more for overseas, um, you know, people who live overseas um, and, and people who, you know, have used it and they're from the overseas um, have talked to me about it and, and they they have raved about it and told me how much money they've saved with it. So definitely check that as well. Uh, but um, yeah, dude, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I hopefully this provided you a little bit of value and hopefully you're able to save money um, and avoid that eBay sales tax by using PWCC. If you want to go ship my cards, check that out as well. Um, and I appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.